guys, it's Nikki from Nikki's Secret and today I'm going to be showing you how I got the Kylie Jenner inspired faux bob. So we're going to start off with towel dried hair, then I'm going to be using the Tresemme Salon Finish Volume and Lift Mousse. I'm going to be spurting a decent amount of this into the palm of my hand and then running this through my hair. Now I am concentrating most of it on my roots because I really want the volume and the lift right at my roots. Then I'll be taking the Tony and Guy heat protectant mist and I'll be misting this all over my hair making sure that I don't forget any spots because this is going to be our heat protectant against all the heat that we will be using. Then I'll be blasting my hair with a hair dryer. I'll just finger dry my hair because I feel like I get more volume this way but you can use a brush if you have frizzier hair. And then I'll be sectioning off my top section just using a rat tail comb. I would say about an inch either side of my middle parting, just taking this up and putting it in to a secure bun out of the way so none of it gets tangled into our faux bob when we're creating it. To create that faux bob, we're going to start off by taking about an inch to an inch and a half sections of hair and then I'll be curling this hair inwards but no higher than the nape of my neck. This is just to create a slight bend to the hair, some movement to the hair. So when we do actually wrap this hair round, into itself, it is just gonna be a little bit easier than if it was straight hair. So I'm gonna carry on doing this all the way around. You don't need to be neat about this. We just wanna create a little bit of movement to the hair, always curling inwards. Once I've done this, I'm just gonna take all of my hair, bring it round to the back into a low ponytail, and then I'm gonna start off by running my hands all the way down to the end and tucking the hair up into itself. I'm gonna keep doing this until I reach the nape of my neck, just where I really want that bun to sit. And once I've found the perfect place for it, I'm gonna bobby pin that into place. It's a little bit tricky when you do it yourself. So we're just gonna hold it steady and keep bobby pinning it. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring the front sections round, just teasing them slightly. And we're gonna pin any loose strands into place. Once we've done that, we're gonna start making this faux bob. Now the faux bar will really depend on your haircut. I have long layers at the front so it's a little bit more difficult because we want these to be short. But I'll start off by just training the back of my hair near my crown backwards to get a little bit more oomph. And then I'm gonna section my hair about half an inch from my middle parting. I'm actually gonna be using an old hair extension which I've cut and I'm gonna pop this into place. Then you just wanna flip your hair back over it and I'm gonna section once more. I'm gonna use a little bit of hairspray. This is gonna be the Tony and Guy Flexible Hold Hairspray. I'm gonna back comb this area and then I'm gonna pop my extension in just for a little bit more hold. Pop your hair back over and you wanna do exactly the same on the other side. Back combing your natural hair, the longer hair, is actually gonna make it look a little bit shorter and then you just wanna play around with this hair. Kind of comb it back, hairspray it a little bit, just give you a little bit of something to work with and I've actually managed to get it to look pretty realistic I feel, anyway, let me know down in the comments below what you think. And then I'm gonna be using a hair straightener just to bend the hair, just to make it look a little bit more natural. Using the Tony and Guy Casual Flexible Hold Hairspray, I'll just be locking this look into place and actually using the can just to sleek down my hair that little bit more. If you really like this look, guys, make sure that you comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the ATH channel. Mm -hmm.